Valentina, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube. Me, or does everyone always say that line with the with the rhythm? There's always a rhythm to it. So most of you may not may not know this, but um, do you guys know how much of an achievement it is, especially when you are a first time YouTuber or a beginner YouTuber, just to say those words, welcome back. That is like um, major for us. It's like an achievement. This week alone, I would say I've recorded like two videos, all different titles, and I've ended up deleting them all because I thought they were not good enough. Um, I thought like um, it was a waste of time. There's always that moment where you feel like, um, should I continue doing this? Am I doing the right thing? You know that little give up voice always gets wow. to you. The lighting today, guys, it's amazing. I'm not wearing makeup, but my skin looks flawless. It's like really, really popping. So in today's video, I'll be doing my hair. Um, I'll be doing the box braids using the Darling braids. This is a very great brand braids. Um, it's very nice because it has that little texture to it, which makes it a little bit rough and it's very good to use for twists. Um, I use about three maximum four packets of this to do my braids whatever i do be it twist or braid itself because i have i naturally have a lot of hair so if i have to use a lot of braids um that means i'll end up having like a big head or my head will be too heavy so i tend to use few braids and then more of my hair just to balance it out because then otherwise um it's really hard to have a lot of hair on your head am i making sense but guys this hair is really good i would like advise you guys to use this especially when you're using when you're doing the box braids or doing the twist um so I would say it's one of the good braids that it, they're made in Mozambique. Um, so yeah, I would say it's a very, very great brand, guys. So you can definitely use the Darling to do your twist. What I or mean when I say I have a lot of hair. Some of you might think that it's not really that much. But guys, um, as you look at my hair now, it's actually relaxed. For some reason, my hair maintains its natural look regardless. Even if I relax it, um, the only thing is the hair becomes softer. It loses its kinkiness and I can comb it easily it's less painful but then it still looks natural um, I washed my hair yesterday um, I air dried it I always try to air dry my hair instead of using the hair dryer that way it also helps the hair and avoids it from breaking and so on so that's why I actually did that this is what I mean it's um, I would say I can definitely share my hair with someone this is enough for two heads so this is what I meant when I say it has that roughness in it. So you can easily twist your hair. A moment for my nails, guys. They're popping. It's a gray color. Um, I don't really do my nails um, with tips. This is always my nails. I always do my nails with my own nails because they're quite strong. I can like remove three to four times in a row without actually allowing them to rest and they still that hard but we're not talking about my nails now we're doing my hair so yeah wow i can really be weird sometimes okay but the main purpose of doing this to the braids is um it really helps your braids uh, stay longer because when you start doing your braids this actually gives it a good ending so that way you're able to do your hair till the end um, and it will help it not go loose So I'm going to do my hair medium size. I'm not going to make them too small. I'm not going to make them too big either. So yeah. Everybody's watching her and she's looking at you. I have that moment where a song comes on and you just... I'm going to show you how I also put in my braid. Um, I'll probably just show you one braid or two because I don't have a tripod. Um, and it's a little bit hard for me to record myself from the back so yeah I'll definitely show you at least one braid so you can see how I put in my braids
this is like the part where you have to go a little bit slow just to make sure your head your not your head what am i talking about i mean your hair totally camouflages in the braid so then you can't leave, really tell Ooh, the vambu in me sometimes just comes out sorry guys So here goes nothing. Um, what I do is I start sectioning my hair into three parts. Um, that makes it easier for me to do the braid. And actually when you do your braids, um, sectioning your hair into three parts, it makes your braids a little bit tighter. Not a little bit tighter, but it makes it more tighter. That way it stays longer. The same way I sectioned my hair into three parts is the same way I section the braid into three parts as well and i start doing the braid um from underneath i start making it uh, quite tight um that way i make sure all the hair is inside the braid and i'll be able to have the braid in tighter um and that makes the braid actually stay longer this avoids braids from falling out guys trust me so doing my own hair makes it a little bit difficult to braid uh to braid all the way down so what i do is i bring the braid to the side uh, it makes it easier for me to braid down so what i'm going to do is i'll just uh, try to braid it all the way a little bit down just to be able to show you how neatly I do my braids um, regardless even though I'm doing it myself um, so as you can see just trying to braid it more down again this whole voiceover thing is not working out for me but oh well here we go the braid looks better as you can see it's neatly done uh, the lines are not so bad even though I'm doing it myself and I cannot see myself from behind so guys yeah okay so let's do this again i'm just trying to show you how i do the braid from scratch okay guys i think i didn't mention this but that orange comb of mine that comb is magic it cuts through my hair like i don't know it's like everything guys you guys won't understand we have like a bond me and that comb really come a long way um so what i'm going to do here is as you can see i have made the line for myself already it's really hard to do the line from behind but i don't use a mirror to see what's going on behind so what we do is we section the hair into three parts again section the braids into three parts and then start doing the braid you do it tight from the bottom and then um try to make sure you don't get any unwanted hair into that braid listen carefully don't get any unwanted hair into that braid because the whole process of getting it out it's painful and then i move the braid over to the side again so i can be able to do the braid um all the way down and as you can see um i've done the second braid and that's it so this progress progress almost there um so one braid down i'm going over to braid number two guys um this whole process is um my arms my arms are tired you can only imagine how hard it is to actually have your oh, your arms up here the whole time when you do your own hair but yeah i prefer doing my box braids myself i feel like they look better when i do it myself surprisingly when someone else does it for me do you know that it's so hard when you actually do someone's hair that can do hair they're very demanding I'm one of those people, so. Oh yes! Look yes, at my braids. Yes, Just yes, look at those. Yes. Look They're at so my braids. As you can see, I'm almost done. I'm totally done with my back hair. All I'm left with is the front. Um, and I always do my hair, be it box braid, be it weave. I always do the middle line. Mainly because I have a round face. I don't tend to look very good in a side line. So I always do a middle line. So since I like my middle line really, really long, uh, by now, I already do the middle line. So let's just do that. So do you see how long my middle line will be? Um, that's how long I want it. So I start on one side and then go over to the next. So I'm almost done with the one side and the light is giving up on me. Um, I don't have any lighting equipment guys so 
I'm using my window for lighting and it's giving up on me. This is how exactly I wanted my line, as long as it looks. So as you can see, I'm almost done doing my hair. I'm totally done with one half, one side of the head. So just the other half and I'm totally done. Look at how fast I do the braid. <laughs> Uh, I'm not really doing it that fast guys. I just fast forwarded the video. That's why it looks like that, but it looks pretty cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why would I do that? That's like a zoomed version of me. Pretty weird, but oh well. I'm just braiding it all the way down. Um, as you can see, can't wait to finish this. Uh, but I used few braids. Um, I like it when my hair is really few because I generally have a lot of hair, so that's why I use few packets. But if you want to use more, go ahead. So yes, guys, I'm finally almost done. I have one more braid to do, and then I'm officially done. So um, I've been doing my hair since like two. 2 p.m. it's now 7 p.m. it took me about five hours to get this braids done I'm on the last braid so yeah so this is my final look I am done doing my hair so this is how it looks in the end look at how my middle line looks um so when I start doing my hair from the back I started I started doing them really thick but as I start coming um, in front I start making them smaller so they can look neat so I literally night. had to shoot this in the next day um, as you can see I'm still in my 90s I just woke up I overslept um, this is why my face is a little bit puffed Thank up you so much for watching this video give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel close up look damn I'm good and my skin is so flawless lately. I don't know what's going on. So, arios guys.